Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. Fiddly one this is, we've got part 155 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. This is a real fiddly one, and the fiddly ones play on my mind, which is why it's like six o'clock in the morning at the moment, and I'm building this again. Um, now, before I start, let me just show you something on here. We're gonna be doing the hood box, and we're gonna be finishing the hood box off, uh, and this is everything that we've got in the box. Now, I always take inventory of what I've got uh, in the box to make sure I've got everything. Now, this one here, where it says buckles, I'm supposed to have four. They've only sent me three. So uh, thanks for that, Eagle Moss, really appreciate it. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about that now. I need another buckle, so uh, I will contact Eagle Moss and see if they can send one out, but uh, there was only three in the pack. I do have uh, everything else, four of the other straps and all of that. Um, I think this is gonna be fiddly because of this threading business, of threading the belts through, ready to mount the hood box. Now, once these belts are all attached, and um, we're putting the hood box, that's why I've got the DeLorean out the case here, because obviously this is gonna need to be up like that to mount this. Um, once I've done all this and we've connected it with elastic bands at the bottom, we've got a couple of pipes put in and that is the hood box completed. That's all there is to do in this issue. Now in the next issue, let me just show you that now, we've got another railway tie. I have got that here, which means we've got the railway tie, we've got a rail and we've got the last wheel. And then I believe that's it. We've just got the instruction manual. So uh, that's the four issues that take it up to 159. Um, but this will be one that I'm glad to get out of the way, I have to say, because uh, this is fiddly and uh, it's just the icing on the cake that there's a part missing from it, which I uh, think their quality control should be a little bit better informed on that. This isn't the first time this has happened in 150 issues, that's for sure. 155 issues, should I say. Anyway, look, without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so these are the straps that are going to be attaching the hood box to the uh, car. Now, if you see, on one side is actually uh, a fake material, which this is the side we're going to want down, and this side is the side that we actually want up. So, first thing we need to do is we need to take one of these tiny, tiny little buckles here. Now, these are the buckles with the lip on the end of them, and we need to thread them through. The way we do that is we just thread it through the bottom one here, I don't know if any camera's gonna pick this up, but we'll see. Just through the bottom one. I'm gonna thread more than I actually need through because I think it'll make it easy. I can always uh, backtrack it afterwards. So we've got it through the bottom one there, if you can see, and I'm gonna put it in the top one. Now I'm only gonna show you me doing one of these because then I've got to repeat it four times because there's four straps. So there we go, just like that. Now they want about two centimeters kept out from the other side there. So we're looking around about like that. And then all we've got to do then is take this loose end that we've got here, and we're going to thread that through the same slot that this part here, this end is coming out of. So I'm going to pull that back just so I've got a little gap that I can put this through. And then we'll thread this one through as well. See what I mean about being a bit fiddly? There we go, and then I just pull that tight, and there we go, that is that strap on, so it should be, so the hook, when it hooks over like this on the car, is still gonna have this brown section on here, and as you can see, that's what it looks like from this side, and that's what it looks like from this side. Now, if I lie this this way round, with the hook up facing that way, we're gonna be putting a buckle on. Now, all we gotta do for the buckle, is just pass it down here of this. This is what the buckle looks like. Just put it down one side like a rabbit going in a hole and then up the other side. Like that, oh, fiddly. There we go. And that's the buckle on, just like that. Show you again on the close-up camera. And then what we're gonna do as I said, I'll just show you one strap. We're gonna bring this hood box over and you can see we put handles in both ways. The strap's actually just gonna go this way round when we put it in. Uh, and it's gonna go down one of the handles like this. You can see that okay. And then we're gonna fold it back on itself and we're gonna thread it again through the buckle here. Now this is gonna be fiddly, so bear with me on this one. So we're gonna go up through this side there we go, and then down through the other side here. Once you've got this buckle in, it's gonna be uh, easy to adjust it afterwards for length and stuff like that, but that's the other side in there. 
doesn't need to be too much so I'm going to pull that back on itself and when that's in that should look just like that now I do question the fact that if that straps going over like that I do think that buckle should be threaded the other way around uh, in the magazine they've got it that way around for some reason but uh, you know uh, to be honest with you it's not really making much of a difference you could either have it so that that side's facing up for the buckle which I think looks better or that side but the magazine definitely does have it that way around so all we've got to do now is just repeat this another four times. And there you go, once all four are on, it's going to look just like that. With this one here, I've just glued it to that because obviously I'm missing a buckle, but I want to get this uh, being done. So uh, that's what I've done for now until I get a buckle. I've only put a spot of glue, so it'll be easy to pull that apart. Uh, all we've got to do now is attach this to the car. So let's bring the car over. Okay, but I had to move around the... Uh, the camera's a little bit, so uh, it's going to be really hard to film this, but uh, this is where this is going to go on the front, and on the back's where the elastics are going to go, so you might be able to see that as well. Uh, it's going to be going on this way. We've already made this tab at the top here, which is just going to hook over just the front of the bonnet there, and then these sections here are going to just wrap around the bonnet, but they're going to be held in either side here. Let's get this one out as well. Bye these elastic bands let me just show you them they're going to look like this and basically we're going to hook these over these units here just like this I don't know if you can see this we're going to put it underneath one band get some torsion on it oh god this is fiddly and then that band is going to hook over the other side here I don't know if one of, one of these cameras hopefully will pick it up. And we're just going to hook that over this one just, oops, and it's picked off. <laughs> Try again. Probably better to do the far side one first. So we did a far side one first. And then we'll bring this one round. Just like this. And attach that to there. And then it's just a case of straightening up where we want it. So that's going to go in there just like that. I want that to be quite tight on there. There we go. And then we do the same with the other one using the elastic bands. If you didn't see that, basically what I'm doing is I'm hooking the elastic band so it's on the inside. Just like that on the side camera. It's wrapping around the bonnet and doing the same on the other side. So let's put this one in as well. Under like this. Get the other side in, just like this. And there we go, that's in as well. And then it's just a case of straightening these up. So we've got it exactly where we want it. Looking good, I think that's pretty much it. And then that, as you can see, is now the hood back box. Hood backs, <laughs> hood box attached to the car uh, we've got a couple more details to put in there which are these pipes uh, looking just like this we've got this pipe here which is a, a longer one and we've got a thinner one just like this here so we're going to lift this bonnet up again and the thinner one is going to go into the side hole of this detail just here this silver detail and then it's going to be eventually going underneath the other side of the bonnet just like that and then we've got the thicker pipe to put in. This can only go in one way, because if you have a look on the close-up there, only one end's got a hole in it. So we can just get the one with the hole in it, and that's just going to go on this detail just on top here. Just like that. And again, this is going to go under the car. It's going to fill just this area here. And then all we have to do is they gave us a little bit of a... Uh, a bit of acrylic, sticky acrylic, just to put over that to make sure that those wires don't move. So I'm going to put that in there. Just like this, just to hold them in place, just like that. And then when I put this back down, that's all the wires in. Let's just put that bit in there. Okay, I'm aware how difficult that was to film, but there you go. That is the finished hood box on the vehicle, just like that. Now I've opened the trunk just so you can see how those pipes go with just the little plastic bit of acrylic uh, tape. Just holding that in place but there you go that's the vehicle almost finished we've just got two back railroad tires to fit 
and two bits of track to do and then that is gonna be the completed vehicle that was definitely a fiddly episode that's for sure and it's just uh bummed me out that i didn't have one of those buckles and i still do think those buckles should be on the other way but there you go so what do you think of that? That was fiddly, wasn't it? That was really fiddly. I'm glad when this is coming to an end. I mean, I thought issue 48 when this build was hard. I thought issue 91 was painful. I was even crying on it. And I was almost crying on that right from the outset when I had that piece missing. But uh, it's all come good in the end. And I'm going to get that back in the display cabinet. And I'll probably never have to touch it again uh, until it goes on the uh, tracks which are on the floor down there at the moment. So I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.